Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi sisters. James How do you even say like what's up guys? Like, do we even say that? Hey guys, it's Justine. I'm here with Ro today. Alright, what's up? I'm KBHD here. Just wanted to talk. Video. Just me and you for a real oh, so quick good. minute. As YouTube grows, so does the number of viewers. This increases the number of individuals who could potentially form a parasocial relationship with a YouTuber. YouTubers engaging with their audience is vital for the growth of their channels. It is directly beneficial for YouTubers to interact with viewers who consume their content. This allows them to maintain more recurring viewers in their videos and build a community around them. So how does a YouTuber create a parasocial relationship? There is a vested interest in sort of developing these parasocial relationships to keep people coming back and watching more videos. Um, because at the end of the day, a lot of these YouTubers are doing this as a business. You know, they are, they are doing it professionally. Um, and so they gotta pay bills. You know, you gotta keep the lights on. Yeah, the, the key in, in social media content creation is to establish more intimate relations with uh, audiences. So forming intimacy uh, is key in that sense. And how they do this is actually, so as YouTube says, like they broadcast themselves and they broadcast more intimate selves in a, in a sense. For those creators, like they engage with their audiences and do Q and A's and they answer more private questions from the audience because audience want to know uh, who that creator is and so they kind of need to uh, explain who they are in real life what they like what they don't like etc vloggers believe that it is important to share one's life and feelings with others even strangers in order to exchange important information develop interpersonal empathy and establish profound human connections this practice is especially noticeable in lifestyle vlogging, whereby the viewer accompanies the YouTuber on their day-to-day -day activities. Hello guys, and welcome to our brand new home. But when a YouTuber brings their audience into their private and personal space, such as their home, it builds trust with the audience. Often YouTubers will begin their videos with the same saying. Hello my loves, welcome back to the channel. And Hi sisters, James Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This use of repetitive introduction builds brand continuity between all their videos. Hi sisters, James Charles, Charles here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Doing this, the YouTuber is giving a name to their audience, which in turn creates a bond between the viewer and the creator. YouTube content creators who do this, purposely or subconsciously, do it to further their relationship with the viewer, making them feel like they are being directly talked to. Furthermore, engaging and building parasocial relationships. Very important aspect. That's, that's the thing that creates a sense of community. So community is also very important. There's lots of research about it. The people don't only go there for watching YouTube videos. They also go there to read the comments because that's interesting. That also tells you like what's going on. So comments, likes, shares, are very important. Influencers who have larger followings, a lot of the time they might have people who are actually working for them to do that interaction and to do their social media posts because they just don't have time to do everything. So um, yeah, I think it is really important because again, they have to give across this illusion that they're interacting with everybody. They wouldn't know one follower from the next, but it's really important that they give across the illusion that there's a connection there. The direction of gaze is where the content creator is looking. Often the YouTuber will look directly into the camera lens. For the viewers, it appears that the YouTuber is looking directly at them, as if they are making eye contact through the screen. One of the things that we, uh, human beings are really good at is the visual cues. We are visual beings, if we can say. Um, human beings can process images much faster than anything else, as we might generally understand. Also, seeing is believing. Um, it might be cognitively demanding to read text and make sense of it. Then viewing a video, which is like what? Lots of images joined together uh, makes a video. Videos are engaging. Uh, research also tells us that videos are the most engaging in terms of all the other content that's out there. One argument is that from an evolutionary point of view, we're kind of primed to respond to say a human voice or an image of a, uh, of a human being. And so this, this kind of visual information we get from 
TV or a YouTube video or whatever. Well, I mean, it's a very clear image. It's a, it's a true image. You know, the the, um, the camera doesn't lie too much. It's not surprising that we have an intuitive response to to these these stimuli as uh, as human beings. You know, we perceive it as real. Uh, it's got good reason to believe it is. Um, and so it's only a short distance from there to actually having an emotional response and, and a, a developing an attachment. It's, it's important to remember that these people are doing this as a career. The persona that they put on is their business career, essentially. Just like, you know, you might act a certain way at work. This is how they're acting at work. It's not necessarily because they're trying to hide things. It's not necessarily because they're trying to, you know, do something nefarious. It's just how people are. And ultimately, yeah, they're, they're trying to maximize revenue. Some YouTubers, you know, they will... I think they'll keep a persona on the screen that makes viewers feel comfortable as, as almost like a friendship, as almost, um, you know, this relationship that like, oh, we know each other, we're close with each other, uh, we're friends. But uh, that is where I think the performance comes in, is where it's like being a little bit deceitful for the sake of fostering those kinds of relationships.